for the past two videos i have done um some older nicer um penny rolls from the bank and we found some nice errors some uh, key varieties a wheat scent and um, what i try to do is i do my best to keep the my working space um as clutter free as possible doesn't work out too well usually but um so this is what i have left of the pocket change so let's do this for episode 203 that way i don't have to keep it on my desk it's quite a bit of pennies so it's not i don't think i'm gonna cheap out on you um by doing this it would not surprise me if this still takes over a half an hour yeah i see a bunch of copper in there not as much as i would like um i know that some other channels they have expectations for how much copper they like to find um i want to say two shed gabby looks for like 25 percent copper and um yeah, I mean from pockets change if one every if one out of every four pennies that you get from the store um is copper, that's awesome. You know, or even in from um from the bank. But I could tell here this is definitely not gonna be uh twenty five percent copper, but it doesn't mean that there won't be a bunch of really good errors in here. So let's get busy and let's see what we find. And we got a nineteen ninety five for our first one. If there's any doubling on the front, then that would be a key variety. There's no doubling. I said to myself, I'm going to schedule an extra video today. I did not go um, out today. I decided to stay in and just do videos. And it's nice when I could uh, do more than one in a day, more than one episode, excuse me. Because, I, you know, I, I really don't consider the shorts, you know, vi and when I say videos, I'm really talking about episodes. Probably not. A f I don't think this is a feeder error. It's hard to tell. I'll put it to the side in case we don't find too much interesting stuff for shorts. If you think that's a feeder error, let me know in the comments below. I think that's just post mint damage. But sometimes I like to take a second look at a coin and I'll put it to the side like that one. I noticed that. I was like, hold on, something looks weird. Because when I flipped it, I saw it when I went to turn it. So it has a collar error. It's not a railroad error, just a regular collar error. No value. I mean, it's just not significant enough. You know, if it was uh, a little bit more narrow, maybe it would have been. It's pretty cool still. Yeah, so if I get the opportunity to do uh, more than one episode in a day, I will take advantage of it. Um, I have a pretty busy week coming up. 1999, we're looking for the close AM, uh, the white AM. Wham, wham.
<clears throat> so doing extra videos um, helps me with my schedule. You know, of course, um, the members like it because uh, they get early access to said videos. And the more I put out, the, you know, the earlier the access is. Die dent, edge, uh, rim dent. All right, first copper. We're on the board. We have a copper. Second copper? Yep. There's any doubling on the obverse. It's a key variety. I mean, let me look at that S. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take a. Uh, Alcohol wipe to this one. I have to get the dirt away from there. Because um, it looks like there could be doubling there. Alcohol wipes tend uh don't seem to be corrosive or affect patina or anything like that. They dry very quickly. And um, they're very good at getting dirt out. I know this is hard dirt. Some people say they use toothpicks. I use my, since I have the gloves on, I use my fingernails. I bite my fingernails. So I wouldn't want to use my fingernails without the gloves on because I probably end up eating the bacteria and dirt. Yes, it's a very nasty habit. I do have a manicure set. I should use it more often. I've been kind of a little lazy lately. Let's, let's check it out. I'm going to... Use this polishing cloth. See if we can get any leftover residue out. All right. Let's see what we got. So that was helpful. Let's, let's zoom in just a drop. If there is doubling here, I'm going to say it's machine doubling. Hmm. Maybe too close. Man. It's always the good ones, right? Man, that tea. I don't know. I'm, I can't go crazy with this stuff because I'll start going bananas. So I'm going to move on. I just wanted to see how quick I could see if there was uh, any doubling on it or not. Yeah, I could start tripping out on some of these coins. And uh, I'll, pull, I'll pull out the, uh, the mineral spirits, you know, which you, you shouldn't do inside of a... Uh, Put this as fine. Maybe AU. We'll see. 66. Is any doubling on the obverse? It's a key variety. I don't find too many 66s. Doesn't appear to have any doubling. Well, that T is weird. Nah, I'm going to say no to that. What do you think, copper? Hard to tell. I'll say copper. I knew it wasn't copper. I don't know why I said that for. What a dope. It was a nice dark one. I keep staring at it. Oh, wow. 78. Yeah, right. There's dirt. 
Very dark penny. Wow, that's a super dark. That's got to be one of the darkest pennies I've ever found. Off camera, it looks even darker. Interesting. Maybe I'll put that to the side. I don't find anything else interesting. 22. Hope everybody's having a good day today. I know not every day can be a good day. If every day is a good day for you, man, you're blessed. You are blessed. Yeah, I will put those as AUs pretty close. Wow. 73D. I consider that BU condition. I'll put it there. It's a little better than the other ones. It's a nice strong strike for the most part. I look at that in the loop. I don't think that's an RPM. Nah. It's post mid. I think it's post mid damage. Still nice. But that is a fine. That's a fine penny. Fine. Look, you're a fine looking penny. No doubling on the obverse. I've never found. The uh, 2015 uh, double die obverse. I mean, not even something that was like, oh, maybe that's it. You know, not even close. Couple 88s in a row. I'll look under that. Look at this under the loop. No, I think that's post mint damage. Well, hopefully, I right, there's another 82. I put that with the fines. Had a little too much damage to be. Uh, I think this is a copper. I'm sorry, I meant AU. I put that with the AUs. I said fine, I meant AU. I put this with the AUs also. This looks like it's a misaligned die on the obverse. Okay, so we got a bunch of AU pennies. That's nice, coppers. Well, this is the last of the penny pocket change. So, at least we got we got to mix it up. You know what I mean? I thought that was pretty cool. 
Um, we also had the donation video the past week. Uh, Pam donated, what were they, 2024s. Um, a lot of them had um, the Grease Strike era in them. I mean, like almost, I think almost all of them did to one degree or, or the next. And um, there were like a couple really good ones. Uh, we had those, we had the, we had in that, what was it, episode, was it 200? Yeah, two, the last episode, 202, the first, uh, 84, we're looking for the double ear. No double ear. Um, that first penny roll had uh, all copper, 100% copper, not one zinc in it. That was, that was pretty amazing. Wire rim. That's pretty cool. Good example of a wire rim. Copper. What's that? Piece of dirt. Dirty penny. 2015. No doubling. Yeah, so this past week has been pretty good for the channel. <laughs> um, hair. <laughs> That's yucca. Throw that out. It's not one of mine. Ah. This one's still a little, little wet. see I don't want to get crazy on it I just want to see uh, if that is dirt or uh, uh, I think it came out oh no yay hmm oh man I don't know now You know what? I mean, I have to know. I'm not going to put this into a flip and call it a beehive era. If it's, uh, I can't really tell. I'm pretty sure that's a beehive era. I just have to make sure. Anyway, I don't want to. I already gave it that tone. That was pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to call that a beehive era. Let me look at it under the loop again. No, I think that's I think that's dirt. I think that's a piece of dirt. Just that the um, it wasn't it wasn't wet enough. I think that's dirt. Just do it. Let me do it off camera real quick. I'm really gonna use my fingernail on it real good, you know, and. Yeah, that's not the beehive, man. You see? You see how easy it is to get tricked? And it's right there in the exact spot where the beehive ever is. You see how it's coming off little by little? It's just a piece of hard, hard dirt. Well, that, let me see. You know what? I don't want to damage this thing, but...
I know I'm spending way too much time on it. I'm not crazy about it, though. It's already got me turned off, you know? Yeah, I'm not crazy about it, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, I don't need someone telling me, oh, that's a piece of dirt. Just happens to be in the exact spot. The, um... Where the Beehive error is. 98D. I'm too, a little too close here. Six. We haven't found any 2009s. Probably in about a... A while. No um, double ear. No white AM. Ah, it's a beauty. Color error. Put that with the AUs. It's close. It's close to BU. It's close. Like this one I put as as a as a mint state penny that we found. Maybe a low mint state. It's hard to say. Is this a mint? Is this an MS sixty one sixty two? I don't know. Let's see. You want to see what an MS6... Let's look at what an MS61 looks like. All right. 59 of 2008. Small date. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. That says 66. Oh, it's a 1961. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that 66 is incredible. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to click on MS61. They actually have it there to click on. And I'm going to go lowest first. There are 13 MS61s. So I'm going to click. Here we go. So, let me just zoom out a bit for you. So that's an MS-61. That right, one's 10 bucks. Now that one looks much, much cleaner. So you got to wonder why this is an MS-61. And that's not, uh, that's it. and that says RR. Is that a railroad room? I don't know what the RR is. If you know what the RR stands for, let me know. That's pretty clean for a 61. Yeah, now you're talking about hundreds of dollars. Oh, here goes another one. See? MS-61 brown. So, where's the one I just had? Oh, here it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. So, I put that with the with the uh, MS rolls. Um, so, not that difficult to uh, determine. You know. It really isn't. Could have some die clashy stuff going on in there. It's kind of weak though. So, so I'm pretty good at determining the uh, the condition of a coin. In my opinion, like you know, is this AU? Maybe a low AU. I, I still won't put this into AU. It's close. I'll put that into the fine category. It's probably XF. Maybe it's low AU XF. Hmm. 
Maybe some strike throughs here. Post mint damage. Same thing, fine FX XF. Ah. Oh, yeah, right. Nah, that's just a blister on the. F oh, man. I don't know, man. Eighty four. We're looking for the double ear. No double ear. That's wild. And it has. It looks like um Otis. Let me know if that's the um the rubber the rubber wheel uh, era. I don't know if that's a mint a mint era. And I don't know if this is a mint era either, man. But this is man. That does not look like a zinc blister. Wow. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know in the comments below. That looks wild. That might be valuable. If, you know. Probably not, but it might be. Probably not, but it might be. Wow, man, if this was copper, we would have just found $10,000. Of course, I have to take out the scale. I mean, I know it's zinc. I might have, I, I can't even, I don't even know how many. Matter of fact, I bought, I had to buy this one for the, um, for the book that I did. Oh, wow. Those are some cool blisters. Anyway, let's see what it weighs. I mean, I know it's 2.5. Yeah, so. It's zinc. This would be $10,000. This So this is what the small D looks like. For those of you. Now, if you go online. Hey, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something right now, okay? This is super duper important because it's so easy. 1982, uh, small date, D. Okay. okay. Most people are asking $2 for, for the zinc, the watch. I'm going to go. To the people who want hundreds of dollars. Two point five grams. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why people are calling small dates copper. And now that you're seeing this one, you will know. I mean, small small date Denver's. That's my point. Small date Denver. I'm gonna look for someone calling their large date a small date. And what they do sometimes is they put three three point one on it. There you go. Well. I don't know. He's starting it at two hundred dollars. Buy it now, two thousand. Yeah, okay, very good. This is a good example. All right. All right. So, what's a small date look like? That's what a small date looks like. It's unquestionable. It looks like a. It looks like a uh, a question mark. If I could put a little dot 
below the at the corner of the two it will look just like a question mark okay now this guy's got a nice blurry blurry picture for you i know without a doubt that it's not a small day all right so he's a con artist small date it's not a small date well you know what i take that back either he's a con artist or he doesn't know what he's talking about one or the other now if he subscribed to my channel he would know that's not a small date that's what a small date looks like and anything that looks like a large date and they tell you it's a small date they're they're wrong all right And funny enough, there goes a large date. They look nothing alike. I can't believe the next one we picked out was a large date. They look nothing. I mean, they're they're so they're so easy to tell apart. And the large date looks like a candy cane, or a cane, or whatever a cane. And the small date looks like a question mark. So they're very very different. And um, that's a that's a nice one. That was a beauty. Yeah, this might be low MS condition. 62, maybe. Little conservation, it might be even a little higher. Yeah, so the small date's worth two bucks. That one's in nice condition. Kala era. I don't know what, what's going on there. I don't want to know. 72. I put that with the fines. Now, nah, you know what? Yeah, I'll put it with the fines. It's nice. 98. No white AM. 84 with that crazy 84 so far, the coin of the day is that that 84 with that crazy D on it. Yeah, I got to figure this one out, man. I mean, there's another 84. We're looking for the ear. No D. Oh, it has a die clash on the reverse. Kind of weak, though. I don't know if the D's come in the wide. It, I mean, I don't see it. Now, obviously, I wouldn't know because I've only found one white AM my uh, whole life. Live. Not live, you know what I mean, on uh, camera. In one of the episodes. That was pretty cool. They're not worth much. I mean, you could buy them for 10, 20 bucks. Two thousand fifteen, I think it's uh double die in the obverse is a uh key variety. Yeah, I told you it was gonna be about forty minutes, right? I mean I did take some liberties. So let me uh first thank anybody who's still here after thirty five minutes. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the show. You know, Penny Penny uh, role searching and learning about pennies and the and penny errors is a uh, passion of mine. You know, I'm hoping for the day where 
Well, that's not true. I found I found some uh, very expensive uh, coins, pennies. So, I guess I, I'm, I'm hoping for the day when I continue to find <laughs> um, valuable pennies. Um, I have found some. And um, it really is an, uh, an exciting feeling when you find a valuable era or key date or variety. I'll put this into the, uh, that's a nice tone. I'll maybe I'll do a little quick video on that one. That's a beautiful tone. What do you think, copper? I'm going to say this is copper. Yeah, 1980. You know, so in a sense, it's like chasing the dragon a little bit. You know, you're chasing, you're chasing that feeling. That might be a strike through. What do you think? With a die clash on the reverse. I'm going to call it a strike through. I'll put it to the side. That's pretty cool. Especially when you do it on a video, you know, it's that much more fun because uh, you have an audience. And you don't usually see collar errors on zinc cents. What year is that? 91? Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't, like I said, you don't usually see, that's a, uh, I guess it's leaning. It's either way, it's a collar error. It looks like, you know, that's like the beginning of a wire rim. Oh, wow. Yeah, post mint damage, most likely. I mean, even if it wasn't, it's really not that valuable. And 2000, another last but not least, our 2015. So again, 40, it did take about 40 minutes. I did take some liberties. I appreciate it. We got a few, uh, few interesting scents here. A couple um, mint state pennies. Uh, please click like and subscribe. If, you, if you're still here and you haven't done that, that would be uh, a big help. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless.